Does this seem like a helpful error? Well, we're, we are creating a new lone pair. There's only two good reasons for doing that, and neither of them apply here. Neither of these nitrogens is more electronegative than the other, so there's no point moving these electrons onto this nitrogen, because it doesn't want them any more than this nitrogen. And we're not making any new pi bonds, so this is not a helpful arrow. We shouldn't bother drawing this arrow. It's really a mistake to draw this arrow, so this is bad. Is this a helpful arrow? Well, now again, we're forming a new lone pair. There's only two good reasons for doing that, and one of those applies here. One good reason for forming a new lone pair is to put the lone pair on the more electronegative atom. This pi bond was being shared by the nitrogen and the oxygen. Uh, but oxygen wants the electrons more than nitrogen, so it's a very reasonable to move the pi bond into a lone pair on the oxygen. Um, that's going to give us a significant uh, resonance structure. Not the most significant resonance structure, but one that's worth drawing. So this is a reasonable error. Compare that to this picture here. Remember, this, picture, this resonance error was not helpful because these nitrogens have the same electronegativity. But this is a helpful error because we're moving the electrons onto the more electronegative atom. How about this? Should we do this? Definitely not. Why would we want to move the electrons onto the less electronegative atom? No reason to move the electrons onto the less electronegative atom. So this would be bad, not helpful, not significant. But we've already seen that this does give us a significant resonance structure. Are these arrows helpful? Well, looking at this arrow, we can see we're forming a lone pair. There's only two good reasons for forming a lone pair. One of them is to move the electrons onto the more electronegative atom. That doesn't apply here. The electrons were being shared between the two nitrogens, and neither of them is more electronegative than the other. But the other good reason for making a lone pair is to make room for a new pi bond. Well, that's exactly what we're doing. We are making a new pi bond. We are making a new pi bond, and we do need to make room for it. So these are good arrows. These are good, reasonable arrows that will give us a significant resonance structure. We need to move this pi bond into a lone pair for the very good reason that we need to make room for this pi bond that's coming in from behind. Remember that pi bonds are worrisome because they could exceed an octet. Um, and this pi bond, um, forming this pi bond definitely would exceed an octet unless this nitrogen was also losing the pi bond. We can't form a new pi bond um, with an atom that already has an octet unless it's going to lose a pi bond. So if we're going to form a new pi bond on this nitrogen, it must lose this pi bond over here. Um, and so um, this is a very reasonable set of um, arrows. These would be good arrows to draw. OK, um, so uh, to review, we have some of our most important ideas here on the board. Um, remember that you cannot take a lone pair and transition it into another lone pair. We don't worry about that. Uh, and then there's two ways to form pi bonds. And both of these are worrisome to us because they could easily exceed an octet, and that would be illegal. So anytime you're forming a pi bond, you have to make sure that that new pi bond is formed with a carbocation or with an atom that's losing a pi bond. Now, besides these two um, transitions, there's only one other legal transition, taking a pi bond and making it into a lone pair. Now, here we don't need to worry about exceeding an octet. Um, so we know this is going to be legal, but the issue here that we have to worry about is whether this is going to be significant or not. Um, it's very often the case that um, these transitions are not significant and not worth drawing. So we've seen there's only two good reasons to create a new lone pair. The only two good reasons are to move the electrons onto the more electronegative atom or to make room for a new pi bond. Um, if you're not doing it for one of these two reasons, you're probably making um, an insignificant transition that's not worth drawing. All right, so when you're forming a pi bond, you have to be careful about not doing something illegal and exceeding an octet. And when you're forming a lone pair, you have to be careful about not doing something that's completely insignificant. Uh, and here are the rules to follow, the rules of thumb, um, to uh, try to keep on the straight and narrow with these types of transitions.